The circuses are widely recognized for their talented performers and diverse shows that leave many people amazed. In the municipality of Jaboateo dos Guararapes in Brazil, renowned for its picturesque coastlines, a harrowing incident took place that marked one of the most dreadful animal assaults ever documented. This event revolved around a young boy, aged six, who anticipated a joyful family outing, but instead experienced a sorrowful conclusion reminiscent of a terrifying film. It was a sunny Sunday in April 2000 when Jose Miguel dos Santos Fonseca Jr., a six-year-old boy known as Juninho, went to Circo Vostok in the city of Jabotayo dos Gararapes in the greater Recife area of Pernambuco with his father and sister. It was Juninho's birthday, and his present was to experience the wonders of the circus that had set up in his town. However, what should have been an enchanting event turned into a tragedy that forever changed the history of Brazilian circuses and the lives of Junina's family. After the initial attractions, the announcer introduced the highlight of the day, the Lion Tamer, act which involved a man inside a cage with several lions. During the 20-minute intermission, the Tamer invited some children to take photos in front of the lion cage, and Juninho was one of them. Unbeknownst to anyone, the lion named Bongo, using his paw, pulled the six-year-old boy into the tunnel connecting the lion cage to the ring. Instead of iron bars, the spaces between the bars of the cage were covered with nylon ropes, which didn't prevent the felines from pulling a person inside. This grave oversight led to Juninho ending up inside the lion cage. After being seized by Bongo, the boy was taken into the ring by the lion. The other felines, which were supposed to be part of the act, began devouring the boy. The scene was worse than a horror movie, shocking the audience. It was a terrifying scene that no one expected to witness in a circus. In spite of efforts to rescue the boy, only fragments remained of Juninho. The father, in a state of disbelief, was immobile while his sister witnessed the entire event unfold. As the boy's body dwindled to almost nothing, two other lions snapped the nylon ropes and assaulted the remains of Juninho. Chaos ensued within the circus. The military police were summoned and eliminated three lions with multiple gunshot. The sole surviving creature that day was a youthful feline, which perished 21 years later. The carcasses of the lions were transported to the Federal University of Pernambuco, where an autopsy disclosed their empty stomachs. The report verified that the felines had abstained from eating for two days. Nevertheless, the experts concluded that the lions didn't seize Juninho with the intention to devour him, but rather due to the stress caused by hunger, which stimulated their innate instincts to capture prey. Towards the end of that day, Juninho's mother was informed of the situation. She was eight months pregnant and nearly suffered a miscarriage. The news rapidly disseminated across Brazil, and even a BBC team journeyed to Jaboteo to document the occurrence. The tragedy ignited a debate about animals and circuses and the inhumane treatment they endured. During that period, it was customary to witness animals and circuses subjected to mistreatment, malnourishment, and punishment if they failed to perform to their owners' and trainers' expectations. It was in this era that the National Congress enacted legislation that tightened the criteria for keeping animals in shows. Pernambuco became the first state to prohibit animals in circuses, and several years later, the entire country adopted a similar position. The case went to court, and the circus and the company responsible for leasing the venue for the circus in the city were instructed to compensate the victim's parents with $200,000. However, the Supreme Federal Court reduced the compensation to $55,000. The family who owned the circus relocated to the United States, the lion tamer fled, and eventually, the crime surpassed its statute of limitations as no one was apprehended for trial. The psychological wounds inflicted by the child's demise in the circus cannot be healed with a fixed sum. There is no amount of money that can erase from the mind and heart the tragic conclusion of a boy on his birthday in the circus, a place that should have been a stage of happiness, but instead became a realm of sorrow, anguish, and social negligence. 
Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel for more videos.